Happy Equinox, my darling souls. Uh, this will be a special three-month Equinox reading, asking spirit what beginning and ending that this Equinox energy is igniting for you. We have an Equinox twice a year because we're in a constant cycle of tipping toward the sun for our summer and then slowly moving back to where we're tipping away from it for our winter. And when we hit the halfway point where the sun is right above the equator, that's our Equinox where for most of the planet, the days and the nights are about equal. If we didn't have this cycle of taking turns tipping toward and away from the sun, the furthest regions in the northern and southern hemispheres would not have the opportunity to experience the important seasons of spring and summer and autumn and would be in a perpetual winter all the time. So what an amazing planet of cycles that we live on. This reading is going to focus on a three-month period from around March 19th through around June 19th when we go into the summer-winter solstice. Um, and there's a video for each individual zodiac sign. If you want to know more about your life during this period, uh, you can also apply this information to any other planet within your birth chart that has this zodiac sign. Here's a quick list for your convenience of what each planet rolls over within our lives so you could go to your birth chart and find out, okay, what's my you know moon sign? I want to know about how I want to express emotion or how emotions going to be expressed to me. And then you can dive into there. So enjoy it in all writing. Let's see what spirit has to say. All right, Taurus, let's take a look here. We're going to pull uh, cards for each individual month. The first month, which will run from March 19th around there to around April 19th, we're going to pull from the Medicine Woman Oracle here and see what theme of energy that you're going to be experiencing here. So for all of our Taurus, all right, there we go. Let's see what we have here. You've got summer. <laughs> so you're preparing for the summer equinox, a time for blooming, celebrating your success. So you really uh, feel like this is a big preparation of your movement uh, toward this, um, you know, this new energy is coming in here. And you might be feeling kind of opposite here. It's interesting because you know, we're coming out of winter in the northern hemisphere moving into spring. And um, in the southern hemisphere, though, you're coming out of summer moving into autumn. And so with that energy here, I feel like um, you're really connecting with the southern hemisphere energy of a summer ending and you're getting, uh, I feel like your energy is more in the fall, more of the letting things fall away during at least this month. Uh, and let's take a look here and see what other energies they want you to know about here. But I love this, um, this energy. It's different. It's, it's just um, transformative. It just feels like you're ready to let a lot of things fall away here. Uh, during here. So I feel like you're connecting more and, and not so much the, for this month, not the spring um, planting seeds, but this is more the harvest, more of the ready for things to end. Uh, so this is a big month of endings for you. It says in the Celtic, I'm sorry, Celtic tradition, the summer solstice is celebrated on June 21st, which will be up here, the longest night of the year. The ceremonies provide a time to give thanks for what has been given and prepares us to embrace what is coming. Life is in full swing of sunlight, the flutter of butterfly wings, and floral perfume. It's the time to honor life in all of its expression of abundance, profusion, and sensuality. Life flows by vol vol voluptuously. Associate, associated with heat, summer is a time of exuberance that favors expression. The guidance it gives says whatever season that you're in, this card indicates a time of fulfillment, of shining and blooming. 
Connect to the sun, the emblem of summer, and awaken your sacred, joyful fire. Release your incredible creative energy. Forge ties with the medicine woman inside you and affirm your talents with confidence. Of course, regardless of how we identify, we all have divine feminine, divine masculine energy within us. This is telling us all to connect with that medicine woman within us. Celebrate your successes and openly shine. Love seems to smile upon you, so give free reign to your sensuality and surrender to pleasure. Togetherness holds the place of honor. Share and gather your loved ones around you. Life is one big party, so here we go for your first month. And then we can awaken the medicine. <clears throat> In an echo of the summer season, open yourself up to the blossoming of who you are. To discover your unique perfume, take a ritual day dedicated to the five senses, the gift of your incarnation. Touch, let the sun's rays, your lover's hand, or a massage caress your body. Taste, enchant your taste buds with delicious dishes. Sight, contemplate a beautiful landscape or an exhibit. Sound, listen to the symphony of nature or sacred chants. Smell, re-enchant your nose with the perfume of flowers, aromatic spices, or aphrodisiac Ling Ling essential oil. By celebrating your five senses, you will shine the beauty of your sovereignty. And then give thanks, make an offering to the sun, a poem or a song, or letting life vol voluptuously flow by. Wow. And such uh, Taurus energy, too, by the way. You know, you are connected to the five senses. And so this is right up your, your alley here of taking a day, celebrate, really enjoy the harvest of things, the completion of, of things, and connect to that sun energy, shine bright, feel the warmth, feel that beautiful energy coming in here. So I like that it's the taking the fruit off the tree, taking time to enjoy it. That's what the harvest is all about. Not letting the, the fruit on the vine rot, but take part of you know what you've invested so much in and that you have the fruition coming in. So that's the first month. We'll pull cards for each of the three months, and then we'll pull tarot just to see the how spirit uh, ties them all together here for you. And we're going to pull from the wisdom of Hafiz, if I'm pronouncing that right next. It's this beautiful little deck, so just in case that's how it's spelled. <laughs> and let's see here. So this is April 19th to May 19th for you. And let's see what we have going in here. And if you hear some thunder going on on the outside, we have a beautiful rainstorm coming through today here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I love it. I love the storms and the rain and the changes of weather. <laughs> Receive your blessings. Look! <laughs> so card number six, beautiful. Look, there's the butterflies and all this. So definitely here's that energy of harvest. And uh, this is a period of enjoying all of that not so much planting new seeds like we like we mentioned this is like um you know enjoying the harvest and just focusing on that at least in these two months not so much about planting new going all right let's get back to work let's clear the field let's prepare the soil let's plant the seeds let's go let's go let's go no these two months are about enjoy your harvest so i like it let's see what else they have to add in here Yep, and this is, whoops, this said offer up gratitude is the one right before it, which is great. It says the desert knows the blessings of rain like we kindness. Wow, and I just was talking about rain. How perfect is that? One of the hardest things to do is receive, but you're called to just do that. The same hands that openly, freely to give must also remain open for the receiving from others, from life, and from greater, capital G, greater. Heal the discomfort that comes from receiving without strings. Be vulnerable and allow the goodness to flow towards you without suspecting costs. You're worth every good and beautiful thing 
this world can serve upon you. Wow. How beautiful is that? You get all this harvest. I feel like you're really learning here to receive, which I know is so hard when, when you're a big giver. Um, and I have so many friends who have such huge hearts and family who are such give, 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 give that when we receive, we're taught to deflect. No, no, I don't deserve this. You shouldn't have, you know, you shouldn't have, okay, now I want to over give and give back to you even more because I've got to at least give you back what you gave me or more because I can't be and have this feeling of being obligated. Right. And I, I don't want to feel like I'm in debt. But this is that embracing that allowing people just to give to you so that they can feel what you feel when you give to everyone else and towards you got you're ruled by the planet Venus, you know, that energy. So you're all about giving, giving, giving. Right. And um, so this is I, I love this. You're like, we'll receive that, you know, but it is it's going to be beautiful when you because when you receive without feeling guilty um, or unworthy. It is a beautiful feeling and to see other people feel their joy and see what they, you know, that they're able to give back to you, someone who's given so much. Um, it's beautiful. And so I love this for you. And then your final month, May 19th to June 19th, which takes us up to the summer and a winter solstice, depending on what side of the planet you're on. We're going to pull from the Wisdom of the Elders Oracle. So let's take a look here and see what else they have here for you. So what else were our Torians? All right, this one right here. And we got the Cedar Sacred Medicine Protection. Beautiful. I love this huge heart here. <laughs> right, we'll put that right here. And 27. Let's see what this brings in here. And it's funny, just in the book, it comes here after the winter, fall, summer, spring. Uh, so I like that. I just noticed it as I was flipping through here. And they're like, mention it. So there is the cycles here. So the third uh, sacred medicine of cedar occupies the southern direction of the medicine wheel and possesses some of the strong purifying properties of sage. Cedar is connected to protection and is often utilized in sweat lodge ceremonies as a way of offering a safe space for deep healing to its participants and even protection for the ceremony itself. It can also be used in combination with other sacred medicines to stimulate clarity and to promote communication with the spirit world and the creator. It has a lush green color that is associated with the heart chakra, so so uh, Torian. And if there are any feelings around heartache for you at this time, cedar would be beneficial to incorporate into your spiritual practice in the form of offerings and through smudging. If physical or spiritual healing is required in your life at this time, harness the power of cedar and invite healing energy into your energetic body and into your life. And if you've drawn this cedar sacred medicine card for this equinox period, this is a reminder that there is power in prayer. And now might be a time to ask others to uh, for help or to ask for spirit to intervene. Prayers are always heard and are often answered, but you have to take the first step and ask. If either you or someone you love has been dealing with health issues or emotional stressors connected to heartache, this might be a gentle nudge from spirit to utilize the power of sacred cedar medicine and to trust that healing is possible. I love this asking for help, right? The two things that you probably hate the most, right? <laughs> I get it. I get it. I have a stellium in Pisces, but it's in the second house of Taurus. So I know the, this uh, learning to receive has been a huge, huge, uh, 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 you know, drawn out feeling like it was torture to learn to receive from others. And asking for help is also right alongside that, right? But I love this because this is your learning and growing during this equinox. What you're letting go of 
are the the guilt and the stories that you have about being worthy to receive and being worthy of assistance, especially from spirit. You know, humans, we like, well, you know, especially with as much as you have given, you know, as you're like allowing them to give back to you, you're feeling like, well, you know what, I feel like this, you know, more equal instead of this out of balance where you have to give so much to receive so little. I feel like you're getting closer to like a hundred to one and then 10 to one and then eventually one to one. And you're like, wow, I love this, you know, not fearing, um, being able to receive and give freely. And then also with the asking for assistance that there's no strings attached to receiving no strings attached to uh, asking for help and allowing yourself to receive the help. So I really like this, um, energy that's coming in here for you for this period. We're going to also pull here from the Arcanus Animal Tarot. And let's see what they want you to know here. But it's a beautiful, beautiful freeing here. Um, because, you know, with spirit, we come down here and uh, we give them a, a list of things, a honey-do list that we ask them. I'd like to experience these things when I come down here. So they're always working on that. But when we... Um, but they won't meddle with our free will and what uh, outside of that unless we ask them of our own free will for assistance because they honor that you know it's like a little two-year-old trying to learn to pour milk in its cereal for the first time and it's like oh my gosh okay well they have to learn so let's let them Let's let them, you know, go through the process. We'll get the paper towels and the mop and get ready. But we're there. All we're always there, ready to grab the milk carton, right? Um, so that when they start to overpour, we can grab it and and assist them when they ask for it, right? Um, but otherwise, they're like, what was it, Stuart from? mad tv let me do it let me do it <laughs> if, they're hilarious if you've ever seen that but so we can ask spirit of our own free will for answers and for assistance as well as people too so i like that all right so what else for taurus what else do we want to bring in here today all right so they do want this one this one is standing out and then this one revealed itself and then i feel like this one and this one here all right so let's see what else they want you to know here, Spirit, for this entire three-month period here. Yeah, Three of Wands. And Three of Wands is this energy of changing directions with new information. You're able to change directions, take an off-ramp in your life, and go in a different way than you ever thought that, that you could with all of that here. And, and I like this for you because the old way is I've got to do it myself. I've got to give, 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 give until I'm exhausted, maybe until I'm resentful. And no, I can't ask help from anyone because people let me down. People expect so much in return um, and I don't deserve it. Right. And so there's this new information, this new energy that you've been focusing on. And I feel like that's what you're bringing in here throughout this period here that's why there's this harvest because of the inner work that you've been doing that's bringing into the space where you're at this uh, beautiful transformative energy of i'm going to allow myself to receive i'm going to ask for assistance wow and you get it right so i love that yeah, the Four of Cups. Yeah, emotional stability coming in here. And so there is a lot of self-love that you've been diving into here. These are the, the cups of the outside world that when we try to find our emotional fulfillment there, we're left empty. You know, relationships is one of them, which they can't give us the love that we're looking for because we're trying to find this chalice, this Ace of Cups, which is w what we find by turning inward and upward to spirit and connecting with them. Um, and then we fill up and it overflows out to the world, right? So got relationship situations like jobs, education, social status, uh, you know, things like our bodies, our bank accounts, our possessions, all those things, if they fulfill us at all emotionally, it's short lived and temporary. It's like eating American Chinese food. You eat it and you're hungry an hour later. <laughs> so here is this emotional stability. And I, I feel like, again, that this is because you're turning inward and you're, um, you know, you're, you've been turning inward. And this is why you have this stability 
And again, the emotional stability is allowing you to receive, allowing you to ask of spirit too. Yeah, four of swords. So another stability, emotional stability, mental stability. So all of those fears that we had about what does it mean if I ask for assistance? What does it mean if I let people give to me, right? Um, there's a beautiful transformation that's coming in here, a solid foundation, which, you know, you're an earth sign, so you've got a lot of grounding energy. And I just feel you're emotionally and mentally just grounded during this period of time here as you step through this. I feel like that's what allows you to approach this receiving and asking for assistance, where before you would never have ever you know felt like you could do this but i just feel like this solid foundation that's from the inside out so i really like that and you have the eight of wands here's all those messages from spirit the eight of wands does represent um you know getting a ton of messages from the spirit world and i like this because you're you're feeling like you can receive blessings from creator and then you're also in from the spirit world as well as humans but i feel like the a big piece of all this is this enhanced connection to the spirit world that's coming in with all of this energy this trust you know do you trust me you know the creator and spirit asks when things come up and we're like yeah i do you know do you love me i absolutely do and so you're developing this strong relationship with the spirit world and as you're raising your love vibration you're no longer being you know rolled by the lower vibrational energies of unworthiness and um you know the fear of being disappointed and let down which is a lower chaotic vibrational energy that keeps us you know in this world of noise but as you're making this transformation you're raising your love vibration to be that of a higher vibration which is what spirit speaks at and because of that you're able to hear information clearly especially when you're asking for messages they're like boom here we go so i love this for you um, it means that you're definitely doing that yeah and the magician stepping into your power knowing whatever you focus your energy on is what does grow and expand it's one of the things you learn through this uh, you know receiving too is when we focus on wanting and if we focus in on you know missing something in our life or fearing something is going to leave our life or not leave our life or fear something come into our life or not come into our life focusing on all that you hate you know all this stuff in our life we grow that with our power right and one of the big things that happens with the magician instead of focusing on wanting which to want something and our energy to the creator goes i enjoy wanting i enjoy the feeling of wanting which means that well you can't receive then because you like to draw out the wanting Instead, like these, both these cards talked about, we focus on gratitude for what we do have in our life, picturing in our mind, like our mind and our heart and our energy and our physical world, just imagining and seeing it and feeling what it would feel like to have that abundance, to have those things that we're wanting to enter our life. And as we really connect to those and see it and focus on all that higher gratitude energy, then that's where we see things change too so beautiful opportunity here for you to really learn about um, the how uh, manifestation really works it's not about wanting it's about telling the universe what we what we'd want uh, one time you know and then the rest of the energy is focused on seeing it with gratitude in our mind's eye what is it what does it look like you know receiving that thing then our hearts what does it feel like the energy what does the energy around us feel like as that's coming towards us and even doing things in the physical world writing lists taking action like if you want new furniture you start getting rid of the old furniture you know so that physical action energy also includes that's the kind of thing that happens right and uh, i love the just the energy the flow the change the groundedness that comes in with all this too but you can see how all of this is about harvest harvest and then learning to ask for things that you want 
and this is preparing you for this spring type of energy which i feel you're kind of uh even this one one of the this one talked about being in the southern hemisphere right the 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 uh cedar sacred medicine is the southern so i feel like you're in the you're really connected to the southern hemispheres seasons which is interesting so i love this for you and that's what they have for you for this equinox taurus and if you're looking for more messages of love from above, there's a few things that you can do. First, you can give this video a little thumbs up. It does tell me you're enjoying these videos. It tells YouTube that you are as well, and they'll bring you more similar content. Other thing you can do is click that subscribe button. It does give you access to the notification bell. And if you go into the settings and select all, then you'll be notified when any new videos come out on my channel. And you're also notified when I go live on YouTube to provide free tarot readings. I know. In addition to all of that, also you become part of the love tsunami, helping spread the Zen love to the world. Because when you like or share any of my videos, comment on any of my videos, subscribe to my channel, even becoming a one of my YouTube channel members, doing any of those things makes the YouTube algorithm super giddy, happy, excited, wants to automatically share my videos with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things I mentioned, please know I'm very, very grateful. Also, these are general readings. If you're looking for even more uh, individual specific information for your specific life, I do offer personal readings and all that information is listed in the description box of the video down below. And as you move along this beautiful journey during this equinox, remember, every second of every day of your life that you, yes you, are unconditionally loved by the mother and the father of all things, our creator. And of course, I love you too. So until we chat again, much love to you. You hang in there and you take care.